there, hi there, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to a brand new project. This project is huge because it is the, I have decided to change things up a bit. Um, what I did was I had, for each season, I've decided to do a tournament based on things. Seeding doesn't matter. It's like unseeded. So as you see, the Rangers, Boston, Chicago, Montreal are here. This is a 64-65 season. And as you can look, Detroit and Toronto are not here. Well, Detroit and Toronto are in the semifinals. You look at the bracket. Oh, well, they won't say anything about bracket. Semis and final teams. Like all six teams and their stuff highlights. Anyway. So this is a 64-65 season. So everything is best of seven. And the top three teams from each of the years will move on, will move on to, well, another 32-team tournament with my 11 seasons of Stone Cold Hockey. But this time, it will be, this time it will be a different one. Like, we could see some upsets. We could see some feel, well, we'll see some feel good stories. So anyway, I'm just writing down my stuff. So yeah, first to third. It is important to get first place. Now, you'd be thinking, well, what third place will team would be? Well, it would be the team that lo loses the semifinal in the in the most amount of games. Meaning that if one team loses the semifinals in six and one loses in seven, the team that lost in seven will be given third place. Well, actually. I think I'll do based on my personal preference. If I don't have a personal preference, then I'll go by that tie break. But anyway, so we're going to auto play all these games and then just show you the thing. First game, Rangers would be Boston 2-1 to one, as Jacques Plante was in net. Jacques Plante was in net at that time? Okay. Against Norris, Boston scored on a goal by Reggie Fleming from Tom Johnson and Bob Wojciechowicz. Boy Rangers scored Phil Goyette from Harry Howell and Dean Richardson, and then Earl Inglefield from Roger Albert and Jim Nielsen. So the Rangers went 2-1. to one. Montreal went into Chicago and went 4-1. to one. Remember, it's all random. Gump Worsley beat Glenn Hall. Montreal goes by Jean Belleville, Pocket Richard, Pocket Richard again, and then Dave Ballon. Chicago's goal was by Kenny Warren. It's weird. CBH, it should be CHI for Chicago be a lot better because I'm thinking Columbus Blue Jackets so game two saw Chicago win in overtime Stan Makita scored the first goal from well Hodge lost to Hall Makita from Moran and McNeil shows Trombley scored from Provo and Backstrom to tie it and then in overtime Bobby Hall on the power play with jean Talbot in the box for tripping scored from Makita so that ties the series Rangers beat Boston 6-2. Marcel Pio beat Norris 6-2. Boston goals were scored by Nibs. His, both goals by Nibs. Rangers goals Bill Hick, Sean Rattel, Vic Hadfield. I would say Andy Brown. Vic Hadfield again and Rod Gilbert. So yeah, Hadfield and Gilbert were around at that time. So Rangers up to nothing. Game 3 sees... The Rangers win 3-2 over Boston. Paye beats Eddie Johnston, so Boston decides to use Johnston. Boston was up 2 nothing. Ted Green and T Dean Prentice scored. Phil Goyad, Sean Rotel, and Robinson. I don't know what his real name is. Dave Robinson? But he scored from Wally Hillman. And the Rangers win 3-2, so they're up 3 nothing. Montreal beat Chicago 3-2 at home. Hodge beat Denny DeJordi. Chicago goals by Bobby Hall and Phil Esposito. Yeah, remember, he was a Chicago Blackhawk one time. Montreal goals by Jean-Guy Talbot, Yvonne Cornoyer, and Jean-Guy Valleville. 3-2. Game 4 for Chicago and Montreal saw Montreal win 4-1 as Hodge beat Hall. Chicago Esposito scored from Moose Vasco and Chico Mackey. Montreal goals under Richard, under Richard, Dick Duff, and then Claude LaRose. Close it out, so perhaps win four to one. And the Rangers don't sweep Boston, as Pyatt lost to Norris, to Jack Norris. 
Ranger Girls by Bob Nevin, Donnie Marshall, Bob Nevin, and Vic Hadfield. By Boston Square Five Diamonds. Forbes Kennedy, Murray Oliver, Reggie Fleming, Johnny Busek, and Ab McDonald scoring for Boston. To prolong the series, Game 5 sees the Rangers win 6-1. to one. And Jacques Plant beat Eddie Johnston. Nibs scored for Boston his third, but it was too late. Bob Nevin, Rod Seeley, Kitchener, Earl Inglefeld, Earl Inglefeld, Lou Angotti, and then Donnie Marshall. So the Rangers just crushed Boston in five games. Chicago Montreal game five saw Montreal win five to nil. As Hodge shut out Chicago, great job by him. Ralph Backstrom, Claude Rose, Claude Protoval, John Ferguson, and Dick Duff all scored for Montreal. And they will move on to the semifinals. So it will be Rangers, Montreal, and Detroit, Toronto. So they decided to put Detroit, Toronto to face each other. The two teams that were, went for buys, got buys, will face each other. So the Rangers, Montreal, Rangers, Marcel Paye, 2-1, Jacques Plant, 2-0. Points, Vic Hadfield with 8, Roger Bray with 7, Earl Inglefield with 5. Yeah, it was Doug Robinson and Dave Richardson. Okay. Elsewhere in Montreal, making it through. Hodge, 3-1, Worsley, 1-0. Club Provo, 6 points, Ralph Fox from 5, Andre Richard, 5. Yeah, Jimmy Roberts, Ted Harris. So let's go to the semifinals. Rangers Montreal, first game. Sees Montreal win 4 to 1 as Worsley took down Jacques Plant, former uh, Habitant. Rangers goal by Luca Ngotti from Hadfield and Chabert. Montreal, four goals. John Bellyvaux, Andre Richard, Andre Richard, and Dick Duff putting the into the net. The net. Detroit Toronto game 1. Saw the Red Wings win 3 to 1. Crozier beats Johnny Bauer. As Ted Lindsay from Al Langua and Paul Henderson, Alex Vecchio from Gordy Howe and Norm Ullman, and Eddie Joyle from Norm Ullman and Al Langua scored the East goal, George Armstrong from Frank Mahovlich and David Keon. Game two sees the Red Wings win 5 to 3 as Crozier beats Sawchuck. And that Toronto goals by Frank Mahovlich, Ron Stewart, and Ron Ellis. Detroit goals by Gordy Howe and Joyle. Gary Bergman, Ed Joyle, and then Floyd Smith with the empty netter. Game 2 of Rangers Montreal sees Montreal gagne 4 1. Orsley beat Plant. Rangers goal by Raul Bear from Vic Hadfield. From Montreal goals, Jean Belliveau, Yvonne Cornouillet, Jean Guy Talbot, and Davy Ballon. Game 3 sees Montreal win on home turf 3 2 as Plant goes to the hostile territory in Montreal. Hodge the win. Ranger goals by Vic Hatfield, his fourth, Bill Hick, his second. Montreal goals by Dave Ballin, John Guy Talbot, and Jean Belliveau being the winning goal. Detroit Toronto game three sees the Red Wings win 4 to 1 as Sawchuck lost to Roger Crozier. Toronto goal Bathgate from Bob Pulvert. Yeah, Bathgate was a leaf at that time. Detroit goals by Ted Lindsay. Bruce McGregor, Gordy Howe, the legend that is Gordy Howe, and Norm Ullman. Game four saw Detroit sweep Toronto 5 to 3 as Crozier sent Sacha flying. Leafs did score, will give up four goals. Ron Murphy, I think that's his name. Bruce McGregor, Norm Ullman, and then McGregor again. Toronto did score two goals. Keon and Andy Bathgate, but Detroit made it 5 2. Paul Henderson, future Leaf. Scoring and Andy Bathgate does get his third for the Leafs, but they get swept. And let's see. Do we have a sweep? Yes, we do. Perhaps sweep the Rangers 5 0 as Hodge beats Marcel Paye, so the Rangers decide to go with a new goalie. Hodge doing his job. Dick Duff from Jean Belliveau. Bobby Russo from Claude Provo and JC Tremblay. John Ferguson from Bobby Russo. Claude Provo from Henri Richard. And Dick Duff from La Rose. So, great job by the Habs, 5 to nothing. So, we have a pair of sweeps. Goal scoring, Henri Richard with six goals. Bill Nibs. So, anyway, yeah. So, Hodge and Plant. Well, because 
the Red Wings have only played four games. Well, Montreal had to qualify and all that. So, Andre Richard with six goals in the thing, assists. Provo, Roger Bear, and Vic Hatfield with seven assists. Of course, as I say, it's a little biased because of the playoff series. Points wise, Hatfield with 11, Andre Richard with 10. All that. Charlie Hodge, 5 and 1 in net. His goals against Decimal, 9 7. Wow. See the bracket and all that. Montreal and Detroit will face each other. Highlights. Best wins, but the Leafs didn't lose. Didn't win a game, so. Yeah. Memorable games. Right now, Rangers Boston, the 3 2 game in round one is number one on the fan graph scoreboard. So, Detroit Montreal game one sees the Red Wings with the shutout. Crozier shuts out Worsley. Detroit goes by Floyd Smith, Paul McDonald. Paul McDonald, I guess. Ted Lindsay, Norm Ullman, and Norm Ullman. And then game two sees. Montreal win, so Detroit's five game winning streak ends. Hodge beats Crozier. You put Hodge in that, that's great. Detroit did score Ullman from Hal. Ullman's fifth from Hal. Montreal four goals. Ted Harris, John Ferguson, Jacques Laperriere, and Henri Richard. Game three is Detroit winning five to four as Crozier beats Hodge. Hodge is not invincible. Detroit was up five two at one point. Well, Detroit goals, Nora Ullman, his sixth. Gordy Hall is third. Ullman, his second of the night, his seventh. Del Vecchio, his second. And Normie Ullman finished the hat trick, so he has eight. Montreal goals by Jacques Lelou Perrier, his second. Claude Provo, his third. Claude Provo, his second of the night, but four for the playoffs. And Ralph Fox from his second. Game four sees Montreal win four and one to tie this series. Hodge beats Crozier. So, yeah, so Hodge beats Crozier. Detroit did score. Bruce McGregor is fourth from Norman Allman. Montreal, Carla Rose scored twice to go to four. Ralph Backstrom is third, and Bobby Russo has second. So he's tied at two. They go back to Detroit, and it was Montreal on the road, 7 3. Hodge beats Crozier. Detroit goals Doug Barkley, Floyd Smith, and Ted Lindsay. Montreal goals Dave Ballon, Dick Duff. Bobby Russo, Ruff Backstrom, Jimmy Roberts, John D. Talbot, and Henri Richard. So seven different Habs scoring a goal. So what we do in the final is if there's a clinching game, we'll play it. We will. Detroit versus Montreal. The 64-65 wings against 64-65 Habs. It's Crozier versus Hodge and Nett, like it should be. Uh, the 65 wings, well, Crozier, but Carl Wetzel also was the backup. Gump Worsley there, too, but the Red Wings. Here's the 65 Red Wings. Norm Ullman, Gordy Howe, Alex Dovecchio, Bruce McGregor, Ron Murphy, Floyd Smith, Ted Lindsay, Parker McDonald, Eddie Joyo, Paul Henderson, Pitt Martin, Doug Barkley, Gary Bergman, Larry Jeffrey, Val Fontaine, Lalo McDonald, Marcel Provo, Al Langua, Pete Gogan, Bill Gatsby, that's on the team well, John McMillan, Andre Provo, Bob Dylan Bull, and Warren Godfrey. The Habs have Claude Provo, Ralph Backstrom, Andre Richard, Claude LaRose, John Bellyville, Dave Ballon, John Ferguson, Bobby Russo, Dickie Duff, Jules Tremblay, Jean Guy Talbot, Yvonne Cornoyer, Jacques Lapierre, JC Tremblay, Jimmy Roberts, Leon Rochefort, Ted Harris, Brad Berenson, Terry Harper, Noel Picard, Keith McCreary, Gary Peters, Byron Watson, and Andre Boudria. Brad Berenson played for the Habs in 65. Mm. All right, so let's start. Four minutes into the game. Action by Backstrom. Oh, Backstrom saved me. So Backstrom tried his best to score the first goal. Five minutes later. Red Wings action. Joyo? No, they stopped him. Three minutes later. Action by the Red Wings. Kick score! Normie Ullman. His ninth for the playoffs. From Floyd Smith and Pitt Martin. Pitt Martin? I don't think I said Pitt Martin, did I? When I was talking about these guys? I guess I did. Anyway, two minutes later. Red Wings are cats. They score again. Bruce McGregor. McGregor's garden, his fifth of the year. From Alex Ovecchio and Bill Gadsby. So it's 2 nothing Red Wings. And 
then five minutes later, Red Wings another chance. Pitt Martin? Ah, no. Of course, Pitt Martin is best remembered for being part of that trade for the Blackhawks and Bruins. Like, the Blackhawks mortgaged things to get Pitt Martin from the Bruins, and that was the Phil Esposito trade. So the Red Wings are up to nothing, trying to force Game 7 back at the Olympia. And attack. There's an attack, and Provo tried. Six minutes later, Club Provo, ah, he had a chance. Five minutes later. Red Wings, Ted Lindsay, no. They're good with taking the smaller pass. Perhaps, no, Bobby Russo gets stopped. And it looks bad for the Habs. Looks like the Red Wings could win this game in seven. The series in seven. Well, of course, they have to go against seven out of the Olympia, but you never know. Chance for the Red Wings. Skewer! Terrible Ted Lindsay puts it in the net. Three to zero. From Parker McDonald. Three nothing Red Wings. Three minutes later. Abstior! Ralph Backstrom makes it 3 to 1 from Trombley and Bellyville. So, Ralph Backstrom. Big news about Ralph Backstrom is that he was traded from Montreal to Los Angeles in the 70 71 season. In a move that actually helped LA beat Oakland in the standings and give Montreal the number one draft pick to get Guy Lafleur. Although a lot of people said that. Sam Pollock did that on purpose. Backstrom won it out. So you might as well find anyone to go to the West Coast. Agitator. Chance for Sean Bellyville to score? No. Three minutes later. Have a chance. Backstrom? No. Three minutes later. Montreal He's thinking like a La Rose. Call the Rose his fifth from Russo and no Picard. No, but Card played for the Habs that time. He's remembered for the defenseman who tripped up Bobby Orr when Orr scored his overtime goal in 1970. Three to two. Don't count these Habs out. Can't score! Provo! Unbelievable! Crozier thought he was going to get a shutout. Crozier thought he was going to get an easy win, but he doesn't. Backstrom with the assist, and the Habs have tied it up just like that. And we are at the end of the third period. We have overtime. If the Red Wings win, we have a game seven. If the Habs win, they are the 65 official champions. And Detroit's second. All right, here we go. One minute. And the first penalty of the game, I knew something was fishy. We didn't have a penalty. And the penalty is on Val Fontaine, who rarely gets penalized. I don't know. I think, he, I think he had, like, what, 28 penalty minutes in his career? Habs have a chance. Shot score! Short-handed goal! Allman! Unbelievable! Allman from Floyd Smith! And the Red Wings win in overtime at 138. The Habs can't believe it. They were down 3 nothing through 42 minutes of play, and it looked like Detroit was going to force Game 7. But Montreal struck back. So Allman with two goals, McGregor and Lindsay. Montreal goals by Backstrom, LaRose, and Provo. So yeah, Montreal slow but surely did that, but I can't believe it. It's an overtime heroics. In overtime. And Montreal can't believe it. They were trying to close it out on home turf. So we got a game seven at the Olympia. And it will be Crozier versus Gump Worsley. Montreal decides to go with the Gumper against Detroit. We'll see if that works out. Three minutes into the game. Montreal will get penalized. John Ferguson, well, he was a he's the policeman of this squad. Can the Red Wings take advantage? Lindsay, no. Second chance, Ron Murphy, no. So the Habs kill it off. And have a chance, Russo. Ah. Uh, five minutes later, there's a fight, and it's Ferguson and Dillabo. Dillabo. So they're both in the box. 
It hurts Montreal a little bit because Ferguson can't please his players. Final moments of the first period. Montreal score with four seconds left. Sean Guy Talbot. His fifth of the playoffs from Ballin and Backstrom. So the Habs have a one nothing lead headed into the second period. Sure. Both players will be out of the box now. Eddie Joyle? No. He tried to score. Five minutes later. Alex Ovecchio? Uh. Then six minutes later. Chance for Gordy Howe? He can get one pass for sleep. Three minutes left. And the Habs will take a penalty. It will be Jacques Laperriere for two minutes. So the Perrier's in trouble. How play for the Red Wings? They get it! Pop, pop, power play goal! Gordy Howe! Get your skates on, Gordy. You're going in. His fourth of the year from Parker McDonald and Norm Ullman. We're tied at one. And then Red Wings trying to get their second goal. Del Vecchio. No. Last moments of the second period. Dave Ballin trying to score for Montreal but can't. So 1-1 one, one through 40. On to game three. I mean, period three. What am I thinking? Five minutes left into the period. Montreal delivers a hit. And another five. Red Wings, Normie Ullman. Ah, the hero of game six. Another five minutes have passed. And Montreal will go to the box. Ferguson for two minutes. Hopefully that penalty doesn't cost him. It might. And it does. I was right. Ron Murphy, his second from Gatsby and Powell. And the Red Wings have a 2-1 lead. Seeding, well, seeding is important because it, you go into the randomizer. Now it's an empty net. Game, set, match. Del Vecchio from Parker McDonald. And the Red Wings are going to win this tournament. A lot of people said, oh, well, they had the bye. They got it. But yeah, but Montreal took them to the limit. They could have fucked up. And that will do it. Montreal cannot believe their luck. They had a 3-2 series lead coming home to the form. They almost pulled one off in game six. They were down 3-0. They forced overtime, but they couldn't score. Nora Molman short-handed. And the Red Wings win. And no... Doubt about it. The Red Wings, with Roger Crozier, do their job. They got the bye, they swept the Leafs, and then they took out Montreal. By the way, the Leafs, the 65 Leafs are the third place team because, well, they had the bye and they were better than this Red, the Rangers. But the 65 Rangers also got swept. So I had to make a move. So the Detroit Red Wings in Game 7 are your champions. Roger Crozier... Played all 11 games, 8 and 3. Points wise, Norm Ullman with 18 led the team. Gordy Howell with 13. Alex Del Vecchio, 12. Eddie Joyle with 8. Pitt Martin only 1 point. But anyway, goals Norm Ullman with 10. Bruce McGregor and Ted Lindsay with 5. Howell only had 4, but Normie Ullman looking good. Parker McDonald, Paul Henderson, Doug Barkley, and Gary Bergman with singlets. Assist wise, Gordy Howell with 9. Del Vecchio with 9. Ullman with 8. Penalty minutes, Al Lingua was the leader in those stats. Commiserations to the Montreal Canadiens. Hodge was 8 and 3, Worsley 3 and 2. Provo and Andre Richard with 16 points each. And all that. They tried. Like, Montreal had to go through the preliminary round. But yeah, Detroit beat them in 7. Montreal must be feeling pathetic and all that. But yeah. Championship time for the Detroit Red Wings. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.